we're back in geometry and we are dealing with these cool graphs that you know I love. And we're doing rotations and finding the coordinates. So graph the image of 5, 5 after a rotation of 180 degrees around the origin. What are the coordinates of the resulting point? Okay, so what's 180 degree rotation? So let's see, can't draw a perfect circle, but the idea is if you do a 180 degree rotation and you start here, that's like, you know, this is like a 10 degree, this is a 90 degree right here, and then 180 degree takes you all the way to the other side. So really what it's going to do is it's just going to take your 5, 5 and multiply each one by a negative 1. It's going to flip it. And at some point in school, maybe in, you know later in high school or in college, you'll learn how to do these rotations in 3D, and you'll be able to do rotations at any point on the circle, right? So that might come a little bit later. But for now, this is an easier one. It's just all the way on the other side, so it's just negative 5, negative 5. Okay. So how about this thing? Right, we've got nine negative five uh, after a 180 degrees clockwise rotation. Okay, so you know, for 180 degrees, it doesn't really matter if you're clockwise or counterclockwise, right? Um, so clockwise in this case, right, is going with the clock, so we're going this way. We get to 180 degrees, right? We're over here. So again, it's opposite. If we'd gone counterclockwise, we'd get to the same thing, but that's only for 180. So all we do is flip the signs of the nine and the negative five, right? So it used to be nine to the right, now it's nine to the left. It used to be five down, now it's five up. So it should be negative nine, five. Okay, so clockwise, you're getting the idea of 180 degree rotations are just going to flip the signs of these things. Every 180 degree rotation about the origin is gonna flip the signs, right? Whether we go clockwise or counterclockwise, right? Clockwise would be that way, counterclockwise would be that way. We're always gonna get, if it's 180 degrees, to that opposite side. So this will be eight, 10. Okay, we see the pattern. So negative one, 10. We'll go to one, negative 10. Eight, seven, right? When we rotate this way. Eight, seven, we'll go to Right? If we were 8 to the right, now we're 8 to the left, right? So that's negative 8. We were 7 up, now we're 7 down. So it's negative 7. So it's negative 8, negative 7. And once you see these pattern, this pattern, this will be quick, right? What, what you might want to ask yourself is, how do I do a 90-degree rotation? Or how do I do a 50? That's going to be hard without trigonometry. Right, but these are easier, right? So negative four, three is just gonna be four, negative three. Negative four, negative four, 180 degree rotation, counterclockwise. So it's counterclockwise, but again, it doesn't really matter in for 180 degrees, right? Because now we're going that way. But I guess it's also important to understand what counterclockwise is versus clockwise, right? So counterclockwise is this way. Against the clock. It's going backwards in time. Sometimes I wish I could do that. So now we have 4, 4. Okay, so we have 7, 7 here. We're doing 180 degree clockwise rotation, so that's going to be this way. And it's gonna to go to negative seven, negative seven. Uh, 
for negative 9, 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. We'll go this way. And it'll go to negative 4, positive 9. And 2, negative 1. After a rotation of 180 degrees clockwise, so now we're going like that. 2, negative 1. We'll go to negative 2, 1. Okay, well, you have seen how to do 180 degree rotations. You're probably excited to at some point learn how to do different angles, and you'll learn that soon. If not this year, probably in the next couple of years. So best of luck.